All right, guys, Ben here. I hope you are doing well today. I wanted to record a quick video. Um, one of the most common questions that I get when you are selling a home or if you're watching this and you're buying a home, what the seller is responsible for. So this is, again, what the seller is responsible for, for while you're in, in contract or in escrow as it's uh, termed, you know, waiting for closing that type of stuff. So the, the basic rule of thumb is it's common sense, okay? I mean, there's not much easier way I can tell you that than that is use your common sense. You know, keep paying your mortgage, stay current on property taxes, HOA dues, keep property insurance on the on the home, you know, continue to take care of the property. You're still living there, you're still in the home, maybe you're not still living there, but you still own the property. So continue to take care of it as if it's the way that it was when the contract was accepted. So if the contract was accepted and there was crazy weeds in the backyard, okay, fine. You can, you know, let crazy weeds be in the backyard. I mean, you can't get any bigger though, okay? Or can't get any more aggressive, that type of thing. But the contract calls as plainly as it can be as you need to turn over the home at the closing date in substantially the same condition as it was at contract acceptance. So there's a little gray area in that, but basically, you know, be a good human, okay? You know, um, if there's water in the pool, keep water in the pool, right? So if there's an evaporating, break the pool, that kind of thing. So in the actual paperwork itself, there is, um, I'm going to do a screen share with you um, to show you in the purchase contract itself is some provisions to outline this even in greater detail. And the, they're outlined here, they're attached in this email as well. Um, and or below, wherever you're viewing this right now. But bottom line is, um, uh, one of the first things we talk about is turning over keys, garage door openers, mailbox keys, pool keys, alarm system codes, you know, that kind of stuff. So if you don't have you know, a mailbox key, well, you don't want to turn it over. If you don't have a garage remote, it's in you know, your car and you never had one. Okay, you don't need to do that, but if you have it, turn it over. Um, and then fixtures and personal property. This talks about, you know, Stuff that's yours needs to be out, right? That's again common sense. Stuff that's part of the house stays with the house. You know, in Arizona, it outlines specifically what stays, like for instance, a built-in microwave, a stove, range, that kind of thing, dishwasher, um, garbage disposal, yada yada yada. But washer, dryer, refrigerator, yours. You know, a soft water system is negotiable. That's a common item. Here. So we'll talk through that um, during the negotiation phase of the process. But if you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, one thing that I get um, an, uh, a lot is a shed in the backyard, you know, storing garden tools, you know, bikes, whatever, uh, lawnmower, that type of thing. Those are actually considered part of the house. So they're not considered personal property. It feels a little weird, but in Arizona, at least, they're considered part of the house. So if you want to take the shed with you, make sure that we exclude that out and make it very clear that that is yours and it's not staying. Um, we already talked about continuing to pay your property taxes, you know, make sure that you're current on any liens. The title company, that's part of their job too, is just to make sure that there's no, you know, mechanics, liens, HOA liens, anything like that, um, and that you're turning over to the title. Um, that's pretty much it that I wanted to go over with you. Oh, one last thing is it, the contract also calls for the home to be the broom swept, then broom swept. Now, that is a super gray definition if you ask me, but it's a question that I always get like, hey Ben, you know, what do I need to do to tidy up, clean up the home? And I can't really answer that for you, but again, be a good human. <laughs> That's all I can implore upon you and um, do the best you can to turn it over how you would want it to be turned over to the next um, person or, or if you were the buyer of that property. So if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm here for you. And um, again, we're going to get through this. Take care.